word problems based on simultaneous equations question number one express the following information in mathematical form using two variables first the perimeter of rectangle is 36 centimeter let the length of the rectangle be x and its breadth be y now the perimeter of rectangle we have formula perimeter of rectangle is equals to 2 into l plus b which is equals to 2 into x plus y and this perimeter is given as 36 centimeter that means as per the given condition 2 into x plus y is equals to 36 therefore x 2x plus 2y is equals to 36 so we have equation 2x plus 2y is equals to 36 question number 2 the ratio of the two number is 3 is to 8 so let the two numbers be x and y so as per the given condition x upon y is equals to 3 upon 8 therefore 8x is equals to 3y so 8x minus 3y is equals to 0 now we will start with word problems based on numbers solve the following problems using two variables see in that question number 9 sum of the two numbers is 97 if the larger number is divided by smaller the quotient is 7 and remainder is 1 find the numbers see you have to find the numbers one is larger and another is smaller so let the larger number be x and smaller number be y so as per given condition first given condition x plus y is equals to 97 equation number one now larger number is divided by smaller so see we can use formula dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder so dividend is larger number as per the second condition that is x divided by smaller number y divisor divisor y into quotient 7 plus remainder 1 so x is equals to 7y plus 1 so x minus 7y is equals to 1 equation number 2 now we can solve the equation number 1 and 2 subtracting 2 from 1 so x plus y is equals to 97 x minus 7y is equals to 1 now we can subtract minus plus minus so plus x minus x get cancelled y plus 7y 8y 8y is equals to 96 therefore y is equals to 96 upon 8 y is equals to 12 substituting y is equals to 12 in equation 1 x plus 12 is equals to 97 therefore x is equals to 97 minus 12 85 so x is equals to 85 therefore the two numbers are 85 and 12 so see student as per the given condition first you have to form the equations and by solving the equation you will get the values of variables if the sum of two numbers is divided by 15 the quotient is 2 and remainder is 10 if the difference of the same number is divided by 3 then the quotient is 4 and the remainder is 2 find the number now see let the two numbers be x and y so as per the given condition see we know that dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder so as per the first condition sum of the two numbers that means x plus y is dividend divisor is 15 quotient is 2 and remainder is 10 so x plus y is equals to 15 into 2 plus 10 15 into 2 30 30 plus 10 is 40 so x plus y is equals to 40 equation number 1 now see as per the second condition their difference 
is divided by 3, quotient is 4, remainder is 2. So x minus y is equals to 3 into 4 plus 2. So x minus y is equals to 12 plus 2 that is 14, equation number 2. Now adding equation number 1 and 2, x plus y is equals to 40, x minus y is equals to 14 plus y minus y get cancelled. 2x is equals to 54, so x is equals to 27. Substituting x is equals to 27 in equation 1, 27 plus y is equals to 40, therefore y is equals to 40 minus 27, y is equals to 30. Therefore, the two numbers are 27 and 13. Word problems based on geometrical properties. The perimeter of an isosceles triangle is 24 centimeter. The length of its congruent side is 13 centimeter less than the twice length of its base. Find the length of all sides of the triangle. Now see. Here we can consider the length of one of the congruent side of an isosceles triangle as x and the length of its base as y. Now as per first condition perimeter of isosceles triangle is given 24. See perimeter means sum of all sides that means x plus x plus y is equals to 24. Two sides are congruent. So 2x plus y is equals to 24 equation number 1 as per the second given condition the congruent side is twice the length of the base and less than it 13 that means x is equals to 2y minus 13 so x minus 2y is equals to minus 13 equation number 2 now we have to solve this equation 1 and 2 so multiply equation 1 by we get 4x plus 2y is equals to 48 equation number 3 so adding 2 and 3 x minus 2y is equals to minus 13 4x plus 2y is equals to 48 plus 2y minus 2y get cancelled 5x is equals to 35 therefore x is equals to 35 upon 5 that is 7 now substituting x is equals to 7 in 1 we get 2 into 7 plus y is equals to 24 2 into 7 14 plus y is equals to 24 y is equals to 24 minus 14 that is y is equals to 10. So we can write the answer the length of the sides of an isosceles triangle are 7 centimeter 7 centimeter and 10 centimeter. In a right angle triangle, one of the acute angle exceeds, exceed means more than, other by 20 degree, find the measure of both the acute angles in right angle triangle. So let, we can consider the measures of two acute angle be x and y degree. So as for the first given condition, x is equals to y plus 20 so x minus y is equals to 20 equation number 1 find the measure of both acute angles you have to find x and y see it is a right angle and we know that sum of the two acute angles is 90 degree in right, right angle so x plus y is equals to 90 now we can solve the equation number 1 and 2 See for this we can write reason acute angles of right angle triangle are complementary that means their addition is 90 degree. So adding 1 and 2 see equation number 1 x minus y is equals to 20 equation number 2 x plus y is equals to 90 plus y minus y get cancelled so 2 x is equals to 110 so x is equals to 110 upon 2 that is x is equals to 55 substituting x is equals to 55 in equation 2 we get 55 plus y is equals to 90 therefore y is equals to 90 minus 55 
that is y is equals to 35. Therefore, the measures of two acute angles of right angle are 55 degree and 35 degree. Segment AB is the diameter of a circle. C is the point on the circumference such that in triangle ABC angle B is less by 10 degree than A. Find the measure of all the angles of triangle ABC. Now for that first we will consider figure. Segment AB is a diameter of a circle. So AB is the diameter. Now C is any point on the circumference. Angle B is less by 10 degree than A. Now see student if you join this A, C and B, C. We know that angle C is 90 degree because angle subtended by diameter is 90 degree. So let consider the major of angle A x and the major of angle B as y degree. So see we can write here segment AB is the diameter of circle and C is the point on the circle. Therefore major angle C is 90 degree. Angle inscribing semicircle is 90 degree or you can write reason student property of diameter angle subtended by diameter is 90 degree. Now we can find the equation as per the given condition in triangle ABC sum of majors of all the angles of triangle is 180 degree. That means major angle A plus major angle B plus major angle C is equals to 180 degree. Therefore, X plus Y plus 90 is equals to 180. So, X plus Y is equals to 180 minus 90. That means X plus Y is equals to 90. Equation number 1. Now, see the next. By the given condition, Angle B exceeds the angle A by 10. That means Y is equals to X minus 10. Therefore, minus X plus Y is equals to minus 10. Equation number 2. Now, we can solve these two equations by adding equation 1 and 2. X plus Y is equals to 90 minus X plus Y is equals to minus 10 adding both the equation that means plus x minus x get cancelled so y plus y 2y 2y is equals to 80 therefore y is equals to 80 upon 2 that is y is equals to 40 now substituting y is equals to 40 in equation number 1 so x plus 40 is equals to 90 therefore x is equals to 90 minus 40 that is x is equals to 50. So we have angle the major of angle of triangle ABC 50 degree 40 degree and 90 degree. See student you have to use the property that angle inscribed in semicircle is right angle. AB is a segment the point P is on the perpendicular bisector of segment AB such that the length of AP exceeds length of AB by 7 cm. If the perimeter of triangle ABP is 38 cm, find the sides of triangle ABP. So let consider the figure. AB is a segment point P is on perpendicular bisector. So, this line is perpendicular bisector and P is any point on this perpendicular bisector. Now, see student, we know that perpendicular bisector theorem. Any point on the perpendicular bisector is equidistant from any points of the segment. That means AP is equals to PB. So, 
these two segments of triangle APB are congruent. So let the length of the segment AB X and that of the segment AP and PB which are congruent be Y. Now for the perpendicular bisector theorem length of AP is equals to length of BP is equals to Y. So as per the first conditions length of the AP exceeds AB by 7. So Y is equals to X plus 7. So we can write this equation as minus X plus Y is equals to 7 equation number 1. Now as per the second condition perimeter of this triangle is given as 38. So X plus Y plus Y is equals to 38. Therefore X plus 2Y is equals to 38 equation number 2. So adding 1 and 2 we get minus X plus Y is equals to 7 x plus 2y is equals to 38 so adding plus x minus x will get cancelled 3y is equals to 45 so y is equals to 45 upon 3 that is y is equals to 50 now substituting this y in equation number 1 or 2 you get x plus 2 into 15 is equals to 38 therefore x plus 30 is equals to 38 therefore x is equals to 38 minus 30 that is x is equals to 8 so we can write answer length ab is equals to 8 centimeter and length bp is equals to length ap is equals to 15 centimeter so the length of sides of triangle ABP are 8 cm, 15 cm and 15 cm. Now student we will start with word problems based on monetary things. Urga's mother gives some 10 rupee notes and some 5 rupee notes to her which amounts to rupees 190. Durga said if the number of 10 rupee notes and 5 rupee notes would have been interchange I would have rupees 185 in my hand so how many notes of rupees 10 and rupees 5 were given to Durga now we have to find out how many notes of rupees 10 and rupees 5 so let's the number of rupees 10 notes given to Durga be X and number of rupees 5 notes given to her be Y. Now see as per the given condition, first condition we can form the equation 10X, 10 into X plus 5Y is equals to 190. See initially the amount was 190 and as per the second condition if the notes are interchanged that means now y will become 10 rupees note and x will become 5 rupees note the amounts will be 185 so we can write as per the second condition 5x plus 10y is equals to 185 equation number 2 now you have to solve this equation student then you will get the value of x and y now see we can observe here coefficient of x and y are interchanged so we can add equation 1 and 2 or it, you can be solved by making coefficient same also there are two options so multiplying equation 2 by 2 you will get 10x plus 20y is equals to 370 equation number 3 now see the coefficient of x are same so subtracting 1 from 3 10x plus 20y is equals to 370 minus 10x plus 5y is equals to 190. Now see subtraction that means sign will get change. Minus minus minus. So plus 10x minus 10x get cancelled. 20y minus 5y is equals to 15y. 370 minus 190 is equals to 180. So y is equals to 180 upon 15 that is y is equals to 12 
See, substituting y is equals to 12 in equation number 1. See, this is equation number 1. So, you will get 10x plus 5 into 12 is equals to 190. So, 10x is equals to 10x plus 60 is equals to 190. 10x is equals to 190 minus 60 that is 130. So, x is equals to 30. So, we have answer x and y both the values. So, you can write the answer in words. Durga had 13 notes of rupees 10 and 12 notes of rupees 5. So you have to write final answer in word student. A man starts his job with a certain monthly salary and fixed increment every year. If his salary will be rupees 11,000 after 2 years, and rupees 14,000 after 4 years of his service. What is the starting salary and what is the annual increment? Now you have to calculate his starting salary and its annual increment. So, let the starting salary of the man be rupees x and the fixed annual increment be rupees y. Now see, as per the first condition, See, starting salary is x and increment is after 2 years. No? So, 2 into y, he will get 2y rupees. So, x plus 2y is equals to 11,000. And as for the second condition, after 4 years, increment will become 4 into y and original salary is x. So, as for the second condition, x plus 4y is equals to 14,000. Equation number 2. Now see student, we can solve this equation subtracting 2 from 1. So x plus 2y is equals to 11,000. x plus 4y is equals to 14,000. Now subtracting, that means sign will get change. So plus x minus x get cancelled. Plus 2y minus 4y is equals to minus 2y and 11,000 minus 14,000 is minus 3,000. So minus minus get cancel y is equals to 1,500. So substituting y is equals to 1,500 in equation number 1 we get, see this is equation number 1, x plus 2 into 1,500 is equals to 11,000. So, x plus 3000 is equals to 11,000. So, x is equals to 11,000 minus 3000 that is x is equals to 8000. So, we have the starting salary of man is rupees 8000 and his fixed annual increment is rupees 1500. On the first day of the sell of tickets of a drama, 35 tickets in all were sold. If the rates of the tickets were rupees 20 and rupees 40 per ticket and the total collection was rupees 900, find the number of tickets sold of each rate. So there are two types of tickets rupees 20 and rupees 40. So see let the number of tickets sold at the rate of rupees 20 will be x and at the rate of rupees 40 will be y. Now there are total 35 tickets in all were sold. So we can have as per the first given condition x plus y is equals to 35 equation number 1. Now see second will be the amount total amount is given as rupees 900. Now number of tickets of rupees 20 is x that means 20 into x you will get total 20 x rupees and for the number of ticket with red 40 it will be y so 40 into y you will get 40 y and total amount is 900 so as for the second given condition 20 x plus 40 y is equals to 900 now we can solve this equation now see you can simplify this equation dividing throughout by 20 you will get x plus 2y is equals to 45. 
now it will become easy to solve equation number 1 and 2 subtracting 2 from 1 x plus y is equals to 35 x plus 2y is equals to 45 subtracting that means sign of second equation will get changed plus x minus x get cancelled y minus 2y will become minus y and 35 minus 45 is minus 10 so y is equals to 10 substituting y is equals to 10 in equation number 1 x plus 10 is equals to 35 so x is equals to 35 minus 10 that is x is equals to 25 so we have answer student the number of tickets sold at the rate of rupees 20 are 25 and rupees 40 are 10 respectively. Monthly hostel charges in colleges comprises of two parts. One fixed part of the stay in the hostel and the varying part depending on the number of the days one has taken food in the mess. Ram takes food for 20 days and pays rupees 1700 as hostel charge and Rahim takes food for 24 days and pays rupees 1900 as a hostel charge. Find the fixed charge and the cost of food per day. See student, we have to calculate fixed part for the stay and cost of the food per day. So let the fixed charge for the stay in the hostel be x and the cost of the food per day be y. Now see Ram's total expenditure for 20 days will become x plus 20 into y. See y is the charge for food per day. Now he pays for the 20 days. So x plus 20 y. Rahim's total expenditure will become he paid for 24 days. So x plus 24 y. Now, as per the first condition, the amount paid by Ram is 1700. So, x plus 20y is equals to 1700. Equation number 1. As for the second given condition, x plus 24y is equals to 1900. Now, we have to solve equation number 1 and 2. Now, we can subtract equation number 2 from 1. We will get x plus 20y is equals to 1700 x plus 24y is equals to 1900 see now the sign will get changed so plus x minus x get cancelled 20y minus 24y is equals to minus 4y 1700 minus 1900 is minus 200 so y is equals to 50 Substituting y is equals to 15 equation number 1 x plus 20 into 50 is equals to 1700. So x plus 1000 is equal to 1700. So x is equals to 1700 minus 1000 that is x is equals to 700. So we have answer student fixed charges for the stay in the hostel is 700 rupees and the cost of the food per day is rupees. 50. Now see student next we will start with word problems based on speed and time. See the problems are based on speed and time that means you can use relation between speed and time. See we have formula student speed is equal to distance upon time. So for such a problems you have to use this formula speed is equals to distance upon time. A boat takes 6 hours to travel 8 km and 32 km downstream and it takes 7 hours to travel 20 km upstream and 16 km downstream. Find the speed of the boat in still water and the speed of the stream see you have to calculate speed of the boat as well as speed of the stream see let the speed of the boat 
in water will be x kilometer per hour and the speed of the stream will be y kilometer per hour now see student very very important speed of the boat for upstream will become x minus y kilometer per hour and speed of the boat in downstream will become x plus y kilometer per hour now as per the given condition see we know that time is equals to distance upon speed see time is given 6 hour to travel 8 kilometer upstream and 32 kilometer downstream for the first condition so we can calculate time for the upstream as well as downstream so as for the first condition you will get 8 upon x minus y plus 32 upon x plus y is equals to 6 equation number 1 and as per the second condition you will get 20 upon x minus y plus 16 upon x plus y is equals to 7 equation number 2 now see student these are the equation in which variables are in denominator so we can solve this equation by substituting 1 upon x minus y is equals to m and 1 upon x plus y is equals to l. In 1 and 2, you will get 8m plus 32n is equals to 6, equation number 3. 20m plus 16n is equals to 7, equation number 4. Now you have to solve this equation number 3 and 4 student. So multiplying 4 by 2 we get 40m plus 32n is equals to 14. Equation number 5. Now we can subtract 5 from 3. We get 8m plus 32n is equals to 6. 40m plus 32n is equals to 14. Now sign will get changed minus. So 8m minus 40m minus 32m. 32n plus 32n minus 32n get cancelled. So m is equals to minus 8 upon minus 32. That is m is equals to 1 upon 4. So substituting m is equals to 1 upon 4 in equation 3. 8 into 1 upon 4 plus 32 and is equals to 6. 8 into 1 upon 4 will become 2 plus 32 and is equals to 6. Therefore, 32 and is equals to 6 minus 2 that is 4. N is equals to 4 upon 32 that is 1 upon 8. So, resubstituting the values of M and N we get m is equals to 1 upon x minus y 1 upon 4 is equals to 1 upon x minus y so we have equation x minus y is equals to 4 equation number 6 n is equals to 1 upon x plus y n is 1 upon 8 is equals to 1 upon x plus y so x plus y is equals to 8 equation number 7 now you have to solve this equation number 6 and 7. So adding 6 and 7, we get x minus y is equals to 4, x plus y is equals to 8, plus y minus y get cancelled. 2x is equals to 12, so x is equals to 6. Substituting x is equals to 6 in equation 7, 6 plus y is equals to 8 therefore y is equals to 8 minus 6 2. The speed of the boat in water is 6 km per hour and the speed of the stream is 2 km per hour. See in this way we can calculate the speed by using formula speed is equals to distance upon time. Some part of a journey of 555 kilometer was completed by a car with speed 60 kilometer per hour then the speed is increased by 15 kilometer per hour and the journey is completed 
if it takes 8 hours to reach find the time taken and distance covered by 60 km per hour speed we have to find the time taken that means time and the distance covered and speed is given as 60 km per hour so let the time for which the car travels at the speed of 60 km per hour be x hours that means you have to consider time as x hours and at 75 km per hour see the speed is increased by 15 km that means 60 plus 15 it will become 75 km per hour b y hours now see student again we know that the formula distance is equals to speed into time so we can use this formula distance covered by car with the speed 60 km per hour will become 60 into x that is 60 x km and distance covered by car with the speed of 75 km per hour it will become 75 into y that is 75 y kilometer now as for the first condition we can form the equation 60x plus 75y is equals to 555 now you can simplify this equation we can divide it throughout by 50 so we get 4x plus 5y is equals to 37 equation number 1 now we can form the next equation as for the second condition x plus y is equals to 8 equation number 2 now to solve the equation 1 and 2 multiplying equation number 2 by 5 we get 5x plus 5y is equals to 40 equation number 3 now we can subtracting equation 1 from equation 3 we get 5x plus 5y is equals to 40 equation number 3 4x plus 5y is equals to 37 equation number 1 subtracting that means sign of the second equation will get change minus plus will become minus and plus will become minus so plus 5y minus 5y get cancelled 5x minus 4x is x 40 minus 37 is 3 so x is equals to 3 time taken by the speed of 60 km per hour is 3 hours and the distance covered by the speed 60 km per hour will become 60x that is 60 into 3 180 km A bus covers a certain distance with uniform speed. See, speed is uniform. It remains constant. If the speed of the bus would have been increased by 15 km per hour, it would have take 2 hours less to cover the same distance. If the speed of the bus would have been decreased by 5 km per hour, it would have take 1 hour more to cover the same distance. So we have to find the distance covered by bus. Now see we have to calculate distance. So first we will assume speed of the bus x kilometer per hour and time taken will be y. Now see there are two condition as for the first condition speed is increased so time will be less and as for the second condition speed is decreased that means time will be more. To cover the distance so first we can we can calculate distance by using formula speed into time so distance will become x y kilometer according to first condition student see we can form the equation if the speed is increased so it will become x plus 15 time will be two hours less time taken is y y minus 2 so x plus 15 into y minus 2 is equals to x y 
now solve the bracket you will get x y x into y minus 2 plus 15 into y minus 2 is equals to x y so x y minus 2 x plus 15 y minus 30 is equals to x y x y x into y from both the side will get cancelled minus 2x plus 15y is equals to 30 equation number 1 now according to second condition x minus 5 speed is decreased by 5 km per hour so it will become x minus 5 and time will be 1 hour more so time will become y plus 1 so x minus 5 into y plus 1 is equals to x y so x into y plus 1 minus 5 into y plus 1 is equals to x y now solve the bracket x y plus x minus 5 into y minus 5 y minus 5 x into y x y from both the sides will get cancelled so we have x minus 5 y is equals to 5 equation number 2 now we can multiply equation 2 by 3 we get 3x minus 15y is equals to 15. So you can add equation number 1 and 3. Minus 2x plus 15y is equals to 30. 3x minus 15y is equals to 15. So by adding you will get plus 15y minus 15y cancel. 3x minus 2x is x. x is equals to 45. Substituting x is equals to 45 in equation number 2. 45 minus 5y is equals to 5. So minus 5y is equals to 5 minus 45 plus 45 will become minus 45. So minus 5y is equals to minus 40. So y is equals to minus 40 upon minus 5 that is y is equals to 8. So see student we know that distance is equals to x into y so distance will become 45 into 8 that will become 360. So the distance covered by bus is 360 kilometer. Students of a school were made to stand in rows for a drill. If three student left were standing in each row 10 more rows will require. And if 5 students more will standing in each row, then the number of rows was reduced by 10. So find the number of students participating in the trend. So see student, we can assume here number of the students standing in each row be x and the number of rows will be y. Now total number of the student participating in the drill will become x into y number of the student into number of the rows so as for the first condition if three students are less that means x minus 3 10 more rows will require that means rows will increase y plus 10 so x minus 3 into y plus 10 is equals to x y so you have to solve the equation first equation number one so solve the bracket x into y plus 10 minus 3 into y plus 10 is equals to x y so x into y x y plus 10 x minus 3 y minus 30 is equals to x y so x y get cancelled 10 x minus 3 y is equals to 30 equation number one and as for the second given condition x plus 5 into y minus 10 is equals to x y x into y minus 10 plus 5 into y minus 10 is equals to x y so x y minus 10 x plus 5 y minus 50 is equals to x y so x y get cancelled minus 10 x plus 5 y is equals to 50 equation number 2 now Adding equation 1 and 2, we get 10x minus 3y is equals to 30 minus 10x plus 5y is equals to 50 plus 10x minus 10x get cancelled. 
फाइव आई माइनस थ्री वाई टू आई टू आई इज इक्वल्स टू एटी देर फोर वाई इज इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी सब्सटीट्यूटिंग वाई इज इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी इन इक्वेशन वन वी गेट टेन एक्स माइनस थ्री इंटू फोर्टी इज इक्वल्स टू थर्टी दैट इज टेन एक्स माइनस वन ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल्स टू थर्टी सो टेन एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू थर्टी प्लस वन ट्वेंटी विच इज इक्वल्स टू वन फिफ्टी सो एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टीन सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एक्स वाई फिफ्टीन इंटू फोर्टी दैट इज सिक्स हंड्रेड सो वी कैन राइट द आंसर सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट्स वर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द ट्रेड